listen. This graceful, still, said my uncle. With all the services and faithfulness to the master Shang Lin's wife offered, none of them could forgive her. No one would ever accept her wholeheartedly as a person. The unacceptable truth of having like her in the society, a disgraceful woman, was what mattered to the people. Let's read the fourth paragraph. She married her off into the mountains. If she had married her to someone in the same village, she wouldn't have got so much money. But since very few women are willing to marry someone living deep in the mountains, she got 80,000 cash. Now, the second son is married. The presents only cost her 50,000. And after paying the wedding expenses, she still has over 10,000 left. If you were Shang Lin's wife, how would you deal with your misery? Perhaps you would fight back and redeem your lost self. Going back to the story, Shang Lin's wife was even sold into the mountain by her mother-in-law. And her mother-in-law could actually give a certain amount of money to the bride of her second son. Shang Lin's wife made a scene during her wedding, but the wedding materialized at any cost. In the selection read, Shang Lin's wife, the protagonist in the story, is a widow of two husbands. The New Year's sacrifice symbolically represents a country where women with low social standing are discriminated against. Shang Lin's wife finds herself in a complicated situation where the combined forces of religion, feudal marriage, and the naivety of her villagers predominantly existed. Question. Was Shang Lin's wife willing? Shang Li's wife threw herself against a corner of the table and knocked a big hole in her head during her wedding. The blood poured out. Oh, it was really dreadful. At the end of the year, she had a baby boy. Shang Lin's wife's second husband died of sickness, and her baby boy was believed to be eaten by a wolf. Do you believe in curse? Let's read a paragraph. She would tell everybody her story, which night or day was never out of her mind. I was really stupid, really, she would say. I only knew that when it snows, the wild bees in the glen have nothing to eat and may come to the villages. I didn't know that in spring they came too. She would start crying and her voice would trail away. Towards the end of the story, Shang Lin's wife lived with her own suffering. She blamed herself for being such a stupid woman who never had a chance to defend herself. She lost her feminine consciousness and wandered around the village. She would tell her horrible story repeatedly to everyone she met. The men and women who heard her stories felt disconcerted. They even shed their tears for Shang Lin's wife. Let's read the paragraph. Shang Lin's wife, that was really a bad bargain, continued Liu Ma mysteriously. If you had held out longer or knocked yourself to death, it would have been better. As it is, after living with your second husband for less than two years, you are guilty of a great crime. Just think, when you go down to the lower world in future, these two men's ghosts will fight over you. To which will you go? The king of hell will have no choice but to cut you into two and divide you between them. This made Shang Lin's wife believe that her death could be a way towards a peaceful and good life. She bought a threshold in the tutelary god's temple so that thousands of people can walk over it and trample on it in order to atone for her sins and avoid torment after death. Shang Lin's wife is a woman with low social standing. Discrimination seems to be a punishment. Author Lucian reveals the moral decay of the society. Discrimination, mockery, prejudices. This story teaches us a lesson that people should not mock or turn their backs on people who act, look, and think differently.
We have always believed in offering our bounty blessings to various gods because they could protect us from the sneers of the evils. However, people themselves don't see that the best sacrifice is giving yourself to be an inspiration to others, to send compassion, to bring forth harmony and not disparity despite our individual differences.